Hi everyone, welcome back to Brookdale Farm. Uh, today we're out spreading some chicken manure um, and we've finally got our Marshall multi-spreader conversion complete. Um, we're pulling it today with the Massey Ferguson 175 front end loader um, and this is the um, the super spreader that we did the conversion to to turn it to a multi spreader so at the moment we've got it loaded up with chicken manure I've got the hungry boards off this side at the moment and the back um, just because it seemed to be overloading the belge a bit when I filled it up too much <clears throat> now we were having problems because on the original spreader the belt turned clockwise and on this one the belt turned anti-clockwise and I wasn't really sure how to get around that problem I saw this what I ended up doing we've got a large cog this is the shaft here that drives the belt and we've got a large cog on here now we've got a ratchet mechanism in here I saw this one on a case spreader so when the chain turns down here now uh, it's on a crank here um, that then had there's a ratchet mechanism here so the ratchet runs back up and then locks and it's full so I can't turn it by hand right now um, but it pulls this cog around as it goes you can see there's a couple of little modifications I still need to do to the ratchet to get it working properly um, but generally this is working reasonably well now this project took an awful lot of time and effort um, and I know a lot of people are going to ask well was it even worthwhile um, this year I really wanted to spread some chicken manure um, it particularly up here we've got really gravelly soil um, this soil isn't the best we never get really good crops off from here now chicken manure gives you a lot of soil carbon um, it also contains most of your trace elements or a large number of your trace elements that you need uh, and it's high in phosphorus and nitrogen um, it's a really good for building up your soil now you need a multi spreader to spread chicken manure and I looked around the cheapest multi spreader I could find was two thousand dollars but it was a wreck um, it wasn't a good quality spreader anyway uh, I can't remember what brand it was now but it wasn't uh, one that I could easily get parts for the whole bottom of it was rusted out so like this one I was going to have to cut the bottom out and remake the bottom anyway the cheapest decent quality spreader I could find a Marshall multi spreader was fifteen thousand dollars um, and it was worn out um, now I'd love a Marshall but I just can't afford fifteen thousand dollars that's three times um, more than three times as much as any other piece of machinery on the farm um, and then it probably needed a couple of grand spent on it anyway now I could have con got uh, I could have um, got a contractor in to spread this um, that works out at about thirty dollars a hectare so for what I needed done that was going to be fifteen hundred dollars um, that I wasn't going to get back and so this spreader here cost me $500 to buy the spreader uh, and then I don't, I don't think I've spent another $500 in parts for it most of what I've done here was made out of scrap that I had lying around uh, there's been a, quite a few handfuls of uh, bolts there's been new belts there's been a couple of packs of welding rods and a couple of packs of grinding discs uh, but most of what I have put into this is time <clears throat> so uh, and the other thing is chicken manure gradually builds up your soil um, they say it works really well the first year but you don't get the full benefits of it for about three to five years um, so I don't know if this has been worth it yet um, it's spreading nicely uh, so that's that's great I'm pleased with the way it's spreading um, 
so from that point of view yes it was worth it we'll see how the crops look this year with the um with the extra chicken manure on them
put the spreader mechanism in and out of gear we just take the chain on and off this rocket here. 